Hello. Uh, so I remember saying that I was going to do some videos on some ficus. And uh, I also remember in my intro that I said I was going to do native plants, bonsai videos. And, you know, somebody, no one else really voted. Somebody said that I should do a whole ficus week. So, every Friday, I've been trying to upload care videos. Well, I looked through my videos and realized, well, I haven't done any bonsai videos. And uh, this here is one of my bonsais that I've done a while back. Never did a video of, and it's a ficus. So you get the best of both worlds. And this is my Rock Ficus Bonsai. It is a uh, desert ficus. It could be a little fidgety. I had this guy in direct sun, which is why it has these beautiful red veins down its leaves. Um, since it is a desert, it has this little tubular system right here that stores water. Now, I remember when I first cut this ficus, all of its leaves completely dropped. Uh, if we look right in there, we can see where I snipped it to get to do some branching. Because originally it was just straightforward. No branching. And I am uh, trying to get this ficus to look like what it would out in the wild. Um, I've noticed that in uh, areas where these ficuses could survive and pictures of them that uh, these ficus trees aren't usually fairly big like you'd see like the weeping fig over here or any other ficus. They're, they're always kind of small and stumpy with this piece here becoming the bigger part of the trunk. Uh, some of them are like this where they're three trunked and uh, they just kind of fatten up like that and branch out. And that's what I'm wanting to try to do here, is simulate a uh, wild rock ficus as they would grow naturally in the wild. Um, but the problem is, is I need to do some trimming. Um, this rock ficus is going back to its normal leaf size, which is this big old leaf here and, and bonsai. A leaf this big would technically count as one branch. So we need to get rid of these bigger leaves here because uh, what it's potentially doing is for those who are rather new to bonsai is it's blocking all this from inside here from basically branching out and uh, growing leaves. So this needs a whole trim. It's done good out here for a while, uh, but it it definitely needs some trimming. You need to allow some light to get through the the big old leaf here in order for these to uh, evenly grow and branch out. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna start snipping, uh, and hopefully let's get this. Whatever that is right there out of here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start snipping. And uh, I'm going to get to branch out. And then after that, leaves are a little droopy. So I might give it a good old water after I do that too. Just to kind of help it. Because in the end, all this is going to be a shock to it. So let's see here. I'm going to start. So... What you got to remember with ficus is uh, you got to come to the realization that some of it could possibly fall off like the leaves. But where every leaf is on a rock ficus, that's where a possible node will start for branching. So I, I have some... I have two possible positions here 
I could cut back, but I want to leave some area for some dying back. Because again, when I first started this out as a bonsai, of course it was very severe. I scraped out all the soil and uh, I trimmed the roots, which definitely shocked it and uh, definitely caused for all the leaves to fall off. But now look at it, it's absolutely beautiful and stunning. Which I know a lot of people's gonna hate this because it has the red veins and the leaves. And But I got to do what's best for the tree and in this case for the health and to keep the tree compact I gotta trim it um so this is a tough one do I want to branch out here or do I want to snip this off Maybe get some branching right here, but I need to get that big leaf off. That's that's the big thing. For all I know, I could get some branching out this way too. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and step right here. And that's gone. That's completely gone. So that should allow for some light. get through here I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this big leaf either because uh, it's it's rather big itself and I might need to trim it and maybe get some branching coming out here um, then we have this branch right here oh it's really bleeding has to be done though okay so we got some branching right here some lower kind of branching. Um, so what I'm thinking is, let's see here. I definitely want to implement some more branching a thing you can do to implement uh, more branching if you don't feel like cutting leaves off is you could just cut where the new leaves start to come out of but uh this this i definitely want to get some branching out of um i might i don't know these leaves are kind of kind of low to be honest that's very low to the ground uh, it's kind of thin right here, too. So I might reduce this dramatically to get this to thicken up right here. So I might... I'm going to go right there. And that's gone. Now we're down to two leaves right there. Here's on the ground of what I took off. Oh, I just, yeah, I touched a sap. Don't ever do that. Don't touch a sap. You touch a sap, wash your hands. So, of course, right after that, I'm going to have to wash my hands. Um, yeah, so this leaf was really right here behind the rock. It was just kind of hanging kind of low. And it was getting thick right there compared to the rest of the branch and that's that's not good I, I want that branch to uh to thicken up right here so I'm gonna let that thicken up okay also the general rule for bonsais is uh six leaves six leaves usually you can start cutting you can cut like the ends of them off or something like that but I usually I usually do it that way and uh, try to keep them compact of course this is a unusual ficus for people to uh, kind of use as a bonsai so the same thing is uh, going on right here, where it's thin here, as you, if I move this leaf, you can see where it's thin, 
and then gets thicker at the base. So I might reduce that quite a bit as well. Just trying to find a good spot that I really want to reduce it. Don't really want it back branching right there because then it'll interfere with some of these little nodes right back here. Maybe I can get the branch out right here or something. Uh, potentially allowing this part to thicken up. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's gone. We'll just take that. Okay. So there, see, that's that's what I was talking about because you have this little guy right there that's wanting to come up here and eventually I'll even have to work on that. Oh, see, look, we got, we already got, looks like a little node right there, which that must have been forming a while back, so. Sorry, loud uh, vehicle, I'm not that far away from the road, really. I'm kind of in a urban area, outskirts of town. Uh, so, I definitely know we'll get some back budding there. I'll allow the sap to, uh. Pretty much as I would say, scab over and uh, it'll branch out from there. All right. See, I leaf's really still in the way, majorly in the way. I'm gonna go ahead and snip that leaf off because that leaf. That's just, uh, really in the way of everything, so I'm gonna come right here, snip it like that, take it off the landscape. Got some little yellowing there. Try cleaning up a little bit better. Okay, we uh, cleaned up the best I could. All right, so let's see what's going on. Going on over here. So over here, we got some little bit of branching, but not really all that excessive. And in fact, one, two here, one, two, one, two, three, three right here. And one's starting to come up, so I'm gonna go ahead and count that as three. And then we move this leaf. We only have one, two, three leaves there. Uh, yeah, and three leaves here. So, I'm gonna leave those to uh, continue to back bud. And uh, as a back bud, hopefully some more Branchied will come out, and uh, this really cleans up the bonsai quite quite a bit. It's it's important that whenever you have a bonsai of a ficus or something that could be big leafed like these, that uh, you clean them up. Because if not, what will happen is your leaves will do kind of what's going on here, blocking out the light. But this. This, I feel like, definitely cleans it up quite a bit right here. Um, I'm still debating whether or not I should trim this. Because that's kind of in the way of things as well. Let's see how many leaves. Two leaves. I might take it off. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that to help the other parts of it out so we'll and that's gone 
So there, that really cleans this tree up. Um, kind of awkward right now, but it won't, it won't always look this awkward. Uh, honestly, I've never worked with a three-trunked tree before, so got the sap on me. Don't get that on you, especially if you're allergic to it. I'm not allergic to it, but still toxic sap. Um, so I feel like this cleans this tree up quite a bit. We got some branching going on here, because we really want this to catch up with this. And of course, eventually we're going to have to choose a leader. But uh, right now, I feel this is... <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry about that. But I feel this is uh, cleaned up good enough for now. Uh, this branch right here seems to be bigger than the other, so this definitely seems like my leader. Uh, this here definitely seems like my leader branch, so we'll allow that to uh, heal up, sap up, and uh, yeah, these these uh, rock ficus trees really ain't that, and that's not a root. That's just it's just a little stuff that was in the soil. I happen to like it, so of course I kept it there just because it kind of gives it that uh, desert look that I like. Um, now all I gotta do is water this guy, kind of help him out, and uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I just really wanted to get a bonsai video out there because I did mention that. Yeah, I was going to do a bonsai videos and just have it done one lately. Uh, I guess I need to get a schedule for each day of a different video for like natives, bonsais, and uh, gardening videos really. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it for now and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed on trimming this uh, beautiful rock ficus bonsai. Uh, I guess that's, that's all I got for this video. I, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more uh, bonsai videos and I'll be I'll be happy to do more bonsais. Uh, I don't have very many single trees. Uh, I usually try to do forest plantings, that's what I like to do, and, uh, yeah, this is, I mean, most people have weeping figs as bonsais, I wanted something a little different, something out of tradition, uh, want to do a rock ficus bonsai, and hopefully the sky will get bigger as time goes on, um, I'll have a tea leaf bonsai I'll eventually do and all right uh, that's all I got for this video and I hope you guys enjoy it